Okay, so new setting. People are sleeping, and I barely have time to record anymore because of family drama. And I six Blu-rays ago, I told you guys I was doing another Screen Factory video, and I got six to review in one video now. So yay! But no, I've just been focusing a lot on my mental health and getting better. I am slowly and surely getting better, but. Nevertheless, I got six Screen Factory Blu-rays to review to you guys. I've watched each of them, including the, all different cuts. And I'm going to give my honest opinion until I got to worth the price that I paid for them. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first one. Bubba Hotep. Uh, this is a very, very cult classic Bruce Campbell film, uh, if you've never seen it. Literally about a Elvis impersonator who thinks he's Elvis, who's played by Bruce Campbell, goes up against a ancient mummy who sucks the souls out of elderly people's assholes. Pretty much Bubba Hotep. I love this movie, so when I saw the Screen Factory release, I'm like, fuck yeah. So I paid, I want to say this one was $30. Because I think this one's about to go out of print. I don't know. I, I just see the price increasing a lot. But, uh, yeah. So in terms of what it is, it's a very good Blu-ray. Very good picture quality. But for some reason, the Screen Factory logo doesn't appear on this Blu-ray. Only the Shout logo does. I don't know if that's a error. But the Screen Factory logo doesn't appear. Even though it is a Screen Factory release. Um... I do love the art cover. I do love the front cover. That's why I didn't switch it. Unfortunately, I got this off Amazon, so it doesn't come with a slip cover. Uh, two of the Blu-rays I bought did come with a slip cover, so... Weird. But, picture quality is great. The Blu-ray looks awesome. There's a ton of bonus features you're going to get here, from commentaries to interviews to... It actually has an awesome Bruce Campbell interview that I just found so interesting. It's 30 minutes long. The interview alone is worth the money for this Blu-ray, but the movie is really good. Um, really fun Bruce Campbell movie if you've never seen it. If you're a fan of Bruce Campbell, or if you're just curious about the movie, it's definitely worth the money. If you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. And uh, if you're just collecting Screen Factory Blu-rays and you don't and you watch them all, you just don't know if this is gonna be a good movie. Trust me, it's easily in my top. Honestly, my top. It's in fourth place for my favorite Bruce Campbell film, right behind uh, the, his performance in Nash vs. Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness. And this is slightly just behind those. Like, it's really good. So, yeah, uh, this is definitely worth the asking price. It has a lot of content within it, and is a phenomenal film. Alright, up next, we got uh, Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. So, this is one of the ones that came with a slipcover. I paid. On sale, seventeen dollars for this, and what you get with this is the theatrical and the unrated cuts of Dawn of the Dead. Literally, that's about it. This this is what you get. So, this is basically what I would consider the more traditional Blu-ray release. It has a lot of the same bonus features from the DVD, but they've been upscaled to fit for Blu-ray. Um, but what this does, does come with is both the theatrical and the unrated come with 2D digital uh, HD masters of the 2D, uh, 2K digital intermediate with HD inserts for the unrated cut. And it's just a HD master from the 2K digital intermit from the theatrical cut. So the transfer looks beautiful. Audio quality transfer is great. There's a decent amount of bonus features here. But the main reason why I got is because I'm a big fan of Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. And this is the reversible sleeve. For Dawn of the Dead. Usually with slip covers, if I get it, I usually swap the covers around because I'm, I usually like to have both. But it's a really good Blu ray, really good zombie movie. Changes the formula of George A. Romero's uh, classic zombie rules. And even George A. Romero liked this movie, and it's pretty cool. Um, for the price I paid, it's definitely worth it if you're a big fan of. This particular remake, I do think this remake is one of the best of all time. And I think Zack Snyder really understood, you know, what made Dawn of the Dead great. And he even added, like, it's 
Dawn of the Dead, but with the Zack Snyder coat of paint to it. So it, it looks really good. Great acting, great characters. And I love this movie. I really do. I do think it's worth the price if you can find this. It's a really good movie. Um, the is probably a more expensive one. Drive Me to Hell. <laughs> this shit cost me $37. 37 I don't know why it's $37, but it is. But this is Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell, a phenomenal Sam Raimi movie. This cut comes, this movie comes with two different cuts of the movie. Uh, this is the reversible sleeve on it. Uh, you get the theatrical and unready cut as usual. Um, and I honestly think both cuts are good. Um, if you've never seen Drag Me to Hell, it's a really twisted and messed up movie. But it's a really good movie, if you've never seen it. I would highly recommend it. Picture quality is great on it, as usual. It has a uh, HD master of the theatrical cut. It's taken from a two, 2K digital intermediate no scan. And then it has, uh, for the uncut version, the HD master of the unrated cut taken from a 2K digital intermediate. So there is... It's a pretty looking transfer. And of course, the artwork is my favorite part of this, especially with the slip cover. It just looks so gorgeous. But this is a great Blu ray if you love Drive Me to Hell. I do love it. I love this movie to death. And, but for the price you pay for it, there's not a lot of bonus material on this Blu ray. In fact, that's the list of it. And a lot of it's just like commentaries. <laughs> if you're a fan of this movie, get it. I personally am, so I didn't feel like I wasted my money, but there are things about this Blu-ray I wish they would have done, like, added more bonus content. I mean, I wish they would have. But it is a beautiful looking Blu-ray. I just don't think it's worth... If it was, if it was like, 20 bucks, definitely, but I paid $37 for this. It's not worth it. But it is a good Blu-ray, don't get me wrong. It, it is really nice. Um, next we got Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, one of the most controversial slasher movies ever made. And this comes with the theatrical and the unrated cut. Now, this is probably the worst looking transfer. It's not horrible, but you can tell it's a bit rough. So, this comes with the theatrical and unrated version of the movie. The theatrical cut looks alright. Uh, this has a new HD transfer from the original camera negative, so you know it's going to look rough. It's from the original film reel. And there are moments on this Blu-ray where it does look a bit rough, but nothing is worse than what they did with the unrated version. I don't know if it's because they didn't have time to, or if they just couldn't. But the unrated version, which is the version I was very excited to watch, has the HD transfer of the original camera negative with standard definition inserts for the uncut parts. So when you're watching the movie, it'll go immediately from 1080p to 480 to even lesser than that at times. It, it looks kind of bad and is really noticeable. And with another Blu-ray I want to get to here soon, it could have been done a lot better. But the movie is great. The artwork is gorgeous. And it is a fun movie to watch. I would recommend it just for a movie alone. It does come with a good bit of bonus features in it. This is the entire list of bonus features right here. It does come with a good bit. And I only paid... I think it was like $15 for it. I mean, if you can get past the standard definition inserts, I mean, you'll probably like it. I just couldn't, but I can always watch the theatrical cut. But for 15 bucks, it is pretty worth it. My Bloody Valentine. So this movie, I think, doesn't get enough praise. The original My Bloody Valentine is a phenomenal slasher movie. Has great kills. You know, when they weren't slashed by the MPAA, it's a fun movie. Not to mention, I paid only 12 bucks for this on sale. I think it went back up to 20 dollars now. But with this movie, you get the the cut and the uncut uh, version of the movie. And with My Bloody Valentine, unlike Silent Night, Deadly Night, they actually 
actually did a 4K scan of the kills, the extended kills, from the original camera negatives. So with the, both the uncut and the theatrical, you get the 4K scans of the original camera negative, and this movie looks fucking gorgeous. It is a beautiful looking Blu-ray. Awesome. It has a ton of bonus content here. This is a quintessential Screen Factory Blu-ray to own if we're getting into them. This is the quintessential Screen Factory Blu-ray to own. One of them. It's fucking nice. It's an impressive looking Blu-ray, and oh, that artwork is gorgeous, but it's an awesome Blu-ray. Last but not least, we got 1988's The Blob. Um, I know a lot of people, when they talk about this movie, they talk about how much they hate the illustration on it. I don't mind it. It makes it pop. But this is another one of my favorite horror remakes. It's a remake of the 1950s Blob, and I just love how cheesy this movie is. Uh, this is a single disc release, as you can see here, and this movie is gorgeous. I think it has a 2K scan of the original uh, film negative. It's a gorgeous looking Blu-ray. Um, fun movie. The only thing that really holds it back is the bonus features. They're mainly all just commentaries, and I don't mind commentaries, but I wanted more behind the scenes stuff and there was some here there's just not as many as I want it to be like there's a bit here but it is nonetheless I paid $15 for it the movie's worth it alone trust me watch the blob remake it's fun as shit anyways uh, that was my screen factory blu-ray I don't know how long I've been recording for him, but yeah um those are the six ones I bought, and I'm probably not going to buy another Blu-ray for a long time. I am currently saving up to get the Supernatural Complete Series box set. And uh, I'm planning on doing my Big Bang Theory Complete Series unboxing once I'm done watching all the seasons to see if there's any technical hiccups with the transfers. But uh, the next big Blu-ray unboxing is going to be probably in December when I finally get my hands on the Supernatural Complete Series box set because I'm a big fan of Supernatural, but... Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, this video kind of got you into maybe getting some of these Screen Factory Blu-rays. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.